Recent claims on the internet and in the media that we're heading for a mini ice age are just the latest in a long tradition of failed alarmist claims about a looming deep freeze going back to the 1970s. So here's a quick chronology from this century. In 2001, Don Easterbrook predicted the global chill would start between 2002 and 2012. But of course it didn't. If we compare Easterbrook's prediction to actual temperatures, he was completely wrong. But researchers who predicted continued warming were completely right. In 2005, two Russian solar physicists who predicted that lower solar activity would see global temperatures fall were offered a $10,000 bet by climatologist James Annan that temperatures would rise. The solar physicists lost. Global temperatures did continue rising, just as Annan and other climate researchers had predicted. In 2007, David Archibald predicted that temperatures would drop by about 2 degrees by 2015. He was wrong. Temperatures continued rising, just as climate researchers had predicted. In 2008, Easterbrook tried again, declaring that this time global warming really was over. And the blog What's Up With That agreed. It said, the predicted cooling seems to have already begun. It hadn't. Temperatures have continued rising since 2008, just as climate researchers had predicted. The same year, two members of the Global Warming Policy Foundation made a £1,000 bet that 2015 would be colder than 2008. They lost. In 2009, Jay Lair predicted this. We've seen very, very low sunspot activity, and uh, we're, we're definitely, in my mind, uh, not only in a cooling period, we're going to be staying in it for a couple decades. We weren't. We didn't. Temperatures continued rising, just as climate researchers had predicted. That same year, Henrik Svensmark declared, global warming has stopped and the cooling has begun. He was wrong. He added that no climate model has predicted cooling of the Earth, and on that he was right. The climate models all predicted warming, and as predicted, the world did continue warming. In 2010, Fox News warned of a big chill, complete with a picture of a frozen Statue of Liberty. It quoted a speech by Don Easterbrook, who once again tried declaring global warming over. And from now, there really would be global cooling. But temperatures continued rising, just as climate researchers had predicted. In 2011, the New Zealand Climate Science Coalition predicted that 2011 would be the coolest year globally since 1956, or even earlier. It turned out to be the ninth warmest on record. The same year, there was a prediction by three Norwegians that a drop in solar activity would cause temperatures to plunge in Svalbard between 2009 and 2020. In fact, temperatures rose, just as climate researchers had predicted. In 2013, Kabibulo Abu Satimov predicted that the Little Ice Age would begin in 2015. But, well, you don't need me to tell you what happened. In 2014, Kevin Long predicted that 2015 would be the warmest year before a deep chill set in. It didn't. The next five years were the hottest on record. And that same year, Ole Humlum predicted a temperature decrease of up to 1 degree centigrade by 2020. We've had a temperature increase of 0.2 degrees. In 2016, Habibulo Abu Satimov, undaunted by his earlier failed prediction that the Little Ice Age was supposed to have started in 2015, declared that the Little Ice Age had started anyway. It had begun in 2015, he said, and would continue. It hadn't, and it didn't. 2015, 16, 17, 18, and 19 were not years of mini ice age, but the hottest years on record. 2016 turned out to be the hottest year on record, and 2019 was the second hottest. Despite this trail of failed predictions, the looming mini ice age continues to be just around the corner, contrary to nearly all peer-reviewed scientific studies. And when this year's batch of blogosphere hysteria over 2020 being the start of the mini ice age fails to materialize, it'll just shift to next year and then the year after that. Meanwhile, scientific predictions that we would not see global cooling but global warming have all consistently borne out. For more on this and more myth-busting about science, 
Take a look at these two videos that explain everything in more detail. Thanks for watching.